This is why end tidal CO2 is your number one vital sign, and it's not even close. End tidal CO2 is your fastest non-invasive cardiac output monitor. You're constantly checking that blood pressure cuff, but the end tidal CO2 on the screen is currently telling you what's going on. The secret is knowing the one fact. CO2 is the byproduct of metabolism. So think of it like this. Your cells are making CO2. Your blood, that's your heart and your cardiac output, has to bring that CO2 back to the lungs to be blown off. If the lungs are intubated and stable, that number is actually just reflecting your circulation part of it. It's kind of a proxy for how much blood is getting back to your lungs. This is super evident in a code blue. So if your end tidal CO2 is less than 10, it means your chest compressions just aren't that effective. But when you see that end tidal spike up into the 30s or 40s, that means that you probably have ROSC on your hand or return of spontaneous circulation. So let's do a quick case study. You have a vented post-op patient, their heart rate's 115. The blood pressure right now is fine, a little low, but fine. But suddenly their end tidal goes from 40 to 22. After doing a quick equipment check and making sure that your ET tube is still in the trachea, you move to what's most likely going on, which is low blood flow. The blood just isn't making it back to the lungs to drop off that CO2. So you're seeing a problem in perfusion before your blood pressure even crashes. This is what kind of warns you like, hey, my patient might be in shock. So your end tidal CO2 is the ultimate vital sign translator. When you don't have time to wait for that ABG, you have to just react to the number as fast as possible.